Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about backing up a Synology NAS to a USB drive, or actually it was an eSATA drive. And I'll put a link in the description to my Synology playlist. I have that and a bunch of other videos in there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about backing up from one NAS to another one using the Hyper Backup software. So what I have here are two NASs. I have a DS918 and a DS718. And these are at two different physical locations, but on the same LAN and they're connected with a Ubiquiti a NanoBeam AC Gen 2. And I'll put a link in the description also to my Ubiquiti playlist if you're interested in how that's all set up. So to get started, we want the destination server. So I'll go to the DS718, and you'll need to install Hyper Backup uh, Vault. So if we look at uh, the installed packages, it says Hyper Backup Vault. You can look under all packages, and you just hit install on it, and it will install. And then on the uh, client server, we want to install the Hyper Backup client, which is this one here. It's just called Hyper Backup. Okay, so once you get those two installed, you want to go to your control panel on your server, your Hyper Backup server side, and then you want to go to Shared Folder, and we'll hit Create here, and we'll name this Music Backup. Um, Let's, let's actually call it DS918 Music Backup. And we'll do the defaults there. Hit Next, Next, and Apply. And then I'll choose Read Write Permissions for myself. And the share is made. So we'll close this now. And if we go to our menu and open up the Hyper Backup Vault, we'll just see the backups that are set up. So you won't see a lot here. You don't really do a lot of configuration in the Hyper Backup Vault. You want to go to the client now, and then open up Hyper Backup over here. And we'll click plus here down on the left, and say Data Backup Task. And we want to choose Remote NAS Device. We'll hit Next. And then it says create backup task, the server name or IP address. So this could be your quick connect address. It can be the uh, DNS, the IP address. If you click on this arrow here, it's actually going to look for NASA's on my network. Okay, so it found the DS718. So we have the IP address there. And then we can say transfer encryption. I'm going to say off because I don't need high security on this. We'll type a username and password, and the shared folder will pull from the other drive, and we see here we have the DS918 music backup. So we'll click that, and then the directory there will say DS918 uh, loss less music, okay? And it says you can relink to existing task or export to a local shared folder, but we're going to do the create backup task. We'll hit next, and then we're going to choose what we want to back up. So I'll click on DS Share here, and I'll click on Lossless Music, and I'll hit next. And then you can also do application backup, so you could back up like Drive or Surveillance Station. I'll hit next here. And then we have our backup settings. So um, I've made a video on task notification, um, and I do have that set up, so I'll click Enable Task Notification. So this will message me when the backup is completed. We can say compress backup data. Um, the backup I'm doing right now is music, so it won't really compress very well. If you're doing like text files, then maybe you'd want to do compressed backup data, but I'll uncheck that. And then we have enable backup schedule. So this is gonna do it at 3 a.m. And enable integrity check schedule, and this is gonna do it at 5 a.m. And it says run at uh, check data is less than 30 minutes. and then you can enable client-side encryption. So we'll hit next here. It says enable backup rotation. So this will backup, um, will delete old backups after um, you run out of space. And there's a couple different options here you can read through. Um, but I don't want to do that for mine, but you may want to depending on how, what kind of backup you're doing. So we'll hit apply here.
and it says do we want to back up now and I'll just say yes. So it says backing up. Let's see if we see anything different here. Okay, we see that added that on here on the hyper backup vault. And it says it's backing up. So it's you know keeping track of the elapsed time. And over here it says progress. So this is uh, many gigabytes. I'll probably cancel this because I actually don't want to delete, um, don't want to back this up right now. I'm just using it for this video. But uh, that's the basics of backing one hyper backup to another. So a situation where you might use this is um, if you have a business and you have a large building, you may put one NAS at one end of the building and one at another and then um, mirror them or back up to each other or back one up to the other. You can uh, put them in two physical locations and you could use Quick Connect or you could use a VPN to back them up. Or like I'm using, I have two physical locations connected with a wireless um, bridge. There are many other uses for this um, type of backup, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.